Your Honor, as you can see, there's been clear negligence at best, deliberate deception at worst. Not to mention a breach of fiduciary duty. I'm inclined to agree. Your Honor, the only thing that's clear is his clients chose a risky investment. That's not deception on our part. The deception is he created those derivatives, he knew how risky they were, and he sold them to us anyway. I have two billion dollars in investment funds. You think I review every investment? I don't know, but you sure as hell reviewed this one. Then where's your proof? We don't have any yet, which is why we're requesting access to these emails. This isn't about getting their emails. This is about determining if trial's moving forward. And it is. I'll set the email discovery hearing for three weeks. Three weeks? Uh, Your Honor, my wife has surgery in three weeks. I'd like to request an additional month. Bullshit, she has surgery. Schedule C-section at Columbia Presbyterian. Then put someone else on the case. It's not how it works. If I may, if we agree not to pursue criminal charges in this matter, will you give us the emails within the week? You agree to that right here? I'll give them to you tomorrow. Then we have a deal. Want to tell me what kind of kickback you're getting? Excuse me? You went behind my back. I didn't do anything behind your back. I did it in front of your face. You know what I mean. You gave up our leverage by handing him a get out of jail free card, which means you're either in their pocket or you're using this case so that you can sign them once it's over. What did you just say to me? You heard me. You shook that guy's hand like you were his goddamn cousin. You listen to me. If they wanted to be my client, I'd take them. But I didn't do that to kiss his ass. I did it to get what we needed. We already had what we needed. No, we didn't. We had a hearing on it in seven weeks, and that C-section bullshit was just the tip of the iceberg. Between now and then, they'd have figured out a way to put it off for another two years. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I said I would try it your way, and it didn't work. Well, now those emails are coming. Are you gonna help me or not? I was right. Cut them some side deal. What the hell are you talking about? I went through all their emails and I found nothing tying them to anything. Which means you knew they would leave some emails out and you let it go to get something out of it. I didn't know they would leave anything out, but I thought they might. And I am going to get something out of it, but it's not what you think. What are you talking about? Your idea of threatening prison was right, but nobody ever went to jail for selling shitty securities. They go to jail for destroying evidence. So, instead of proving to some jury that doesn't understand securities law, that these guys knew the risks of their investments. All we have to do is prove they deleted some emails. I'm sorry. Take a seat. You know, that's the second time in two days that you jumped right to me being the bad guy. Well, you have to admit my experience of how you treated me and Lewis was you being the bad guy. Fair enough. But were you there when Lewis lied to my face about backing me in a meeting? When he told Jessica that I did something awful that he in fact did? No, I wasn't. But you do know him and what he's capable of. And you're somehow on good terms with him. I'm on good terms with him because I've seen other sides of him. (laughs) I have other sides too. I may have done some office backstabbing. But I have never done anything to indicate to you that I would do something illegal, which is what you came in here accusing me of. Okay, Jack. You can have a chance to show me another side of yourself, too. What the hell is this? It's a stack of emails they left out. How did you get them? Doesn't matter how I got them, it matters that I got them. It does matter, because if you got them illegally, we can't use them, and you know it. I didn't get them illegally. Then why won't you tell me where you got them? Because there are some things I like to keep to myself. Didn't you give me a speech about getting to know different sides of you? Well, this is a different side of me. Are you going to trust it or not? Gentlemen. So glad you could see us on such short notice. Well, you scratched our backs. I think we can scratch yours. What kind of settlement are you looking for? We're not looking for a settlement. We're looking for you to give up your CEO. What? He's not giving anyone up. You waived your rights to criminal charges in this matter. Yeah, we're not talking about this matter. We're talking about conspiracy to hide evidence. That's 200 emails from your analysts laughing about the suckers that you all ripped off. Relax. There's no way he got those legally. You're right. We didn't. What? God damn it. You told me. I know what I told you, Jack, but you wouldn't have let me come here if I told you the truth. And the truth 
is that we also got this one illegally. That's your CEO saying that if push comes to shove, he's going to throw you under the bus. And do you really want to take a chance that we won't figure out a way to find these others legally? You've got 200 people in your firm. We're going to offer every single one of them immunity to admit they exist. And when they do, either your CEO is going down or you are.